さあうんうんうんうんうんうん So, we're coming to you in the spirit of. What is this? Versace? We're coming to you in the spirit of cabin fever. We're coming to you in the spirit of. I don't give a fuck right now. I know I look crazy. Well, hold on. Good morning. Good morning, my beautiful dreamers. Welcome to my apartment. As usual. So, this is probably going to be like an impromptu edit it down mukbang or whatever. If you hear like popping noises in the background, I'm also frying chicken. <laughs> Yes, very black. Because it's funny. I got up, set my alarm, got my life together, and everything. Because I thought I had an interview today, but it turns out it's not until tomorrow. And it was on Zoom. I'm sitting here on, in front of the camera for a good 37 minutes, a solid maybe 38 minutes. And I'm like, what is going on? I was, I was, in, I was in the process of getting ready to email. Some of the people and be like, listen, I've been sitting in this waiting room for 37 minutes. I don't know what y'all got going on, but this is very unprofessional. I don't know what type of business y'all run in, but luckily I'm gonna go check the email because it said the shit wasn't until tomorrow, not today. So <laughs> I'm like, Benzo, I was already in the mood to be in front of the camera. Figure why not do what I do best, and that's eat. So today I've already started traveling down, but I made me a little, a Waffle House inspired meal, if you will. A little chicken and waffle. Don't look at this chicken bone. Oh, don't look at this one either. <laughs> but yeah, it's just very simple. Oh, it looks very barren. But trust me, it tastes better than what it looked like. So yeah, we got the three little mini waffles. I got a couple chicken wings. And then we got some Aunt Jemima syrup because we don't know who the fuck Pearl Milling is. I don't know who that lady is. Let me go turn this chicken. BRB. That chicken is gonna be disgusting. I can see it already. I didn't really have like a lot of oil left. So we had to try to improvise and make do with what we had. So I'm probably gonna cook that chicken, right? But I'm gonna take the skin off. And then I'm probably just gonna like put it in a little taco or something, you know, make another waffle, make a little chicken and waffle taco. Who knows? But anyway, yeah, I had an interview for this job in Vegas because bitch, I'm trying to move out of here. I'm tired, I'm tired of Philly. There's too much shit going on. Um, and honestly, I feel like I've definitely burnt a lot of bridges. I've definitely ruined a lot of relationships and I haven't really been the person that I wanted to be. Um, and at this point, like, I know it's never say never, you know, if you always push through, blah, 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 blah. Like I, I get, I trust me, girl, I get it. But I feel like it's too late for me to not even reconcile, but I've been here for 25 years. If it was going to happen, it would have happened, I feel like. And I just can't fully and truly be like my authentic self here. And it's just like the scene and the community here is so small that it's hard to meet new people because I feel like everybody don't know everybody, everybody don't fuck everybody. And again, I'm not, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to make it seem like I'm that bitch. I'm not trying to make it seem like I'm popular, whatever the fuck that means. I'm not trying to make it seem like I'm like the it girl here, but I definitely feel like they're people run their mouth and people talk. And there's definitely a perception of me that is just like, at this point, people are going to think what they're going to think of you and people want to feel how they feel. And I'm not going to sit here and try to fucking kiss your ass and, and try to make nice of people. Like I've done, I feel like I've done all I can do here. So it's time for me to go and try new things. And Honestly, I'm just ready to travel and see the world and fucking just see new shit. Hopefully by the next time you guys see this video or by the time you see this video. Um, and hopefully I will be in Vegas <laughs> by the time you see this. Um, or at least have an approval to go. So yeah, wish me luck. Aside from that, ain't really been shit going on. I've been trying to put myself through school and try to not, it's not even be consistent with YouTube and podcasting. But come into myself, come into my own, because I definitely think consistency is, has been a big issue for me, but also like trying to conform and do things that I want other people, that I think other people will want to see and not just doing shit that makes me happy because editing videos itself and going through the whole process of that and like, just, just 
effects and sound work and shit like that's what that's what I enjoy. It's not even so much of being on the camera. It's I like reporting and and getting the story together and like getting that shit out. You know, again, it's not even affecting me being consistent. It's finding I guess my niche, my niche, 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 niche. I forgot who said it. I was watching. I'm not sure if it was fucking Evelyn from the internet. Or if it was Jackie, I, it was somebody, somebody black. It's just like creating your own in a space where it's your art and you're creating a community centered pretty much around you. And that's not to be narcissistic or anything like that, but if you're pretty much presenting yourself, then the shit that's supposed to fall on after that will follow. Yeah, I've just been focusing on the wrong angle and I just kind of got to reevaluate and, and fucking really oh come on now bitch mm. Mm. before i go because this wasn't supposed to be like super super long um this wasn't even planned so i just really want to be authentic well until i truly figure out who i am as a person and what exactly i want to present to the world i definitely think this will be more tangible and manageable if that makes any type of sense so until then i'm gonna try my best i'm gonna try to put some shit out there because i'll definitely side note i definitely had multitude of videos planned and ready to go one of them a couple of them is on my flash drive but my flash drive broke so i have content on there that cannot be recovered one of them, I forgot to use the fucking microphone, so the audio was fucked. And then the other one, I just didn't like it. So, trust me, I have been trying. So, yeah, I'm gonna go. I vow within the next year to at least put my face out there, like, once a week. Because who doesn't want to see this face? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna go and try to get my life together, maybe get married, you know, move to another country. Who knows? So, next time you see me, I may not even be here. As always, be bold, be brave, be beautiful, be loving, be happy, be prosperous, but most importantly, be you. Because you were made to be put on this earth for a reason. Don't ever let no one else tell you otherwise. That's on City Girls and that's on motherfucking. Period. Bye, hoes.